So if you're making a joint suit with this, these are like I've drafted it out already and you can watch my video on how to make a palazzo. I use this to demonstrate how to make your palazzo or how you can your palazzo pants and here now I'm still going to take you on how to use the same pattern now to make your jumpsuit. So what you need is your underboss, your half length. So my underboss is 15 inches, no two inches because I can't cut directly on my underboss, it will not look good. So here I'm going to minus 50, 17 inches to get my full length. So when you minus 15 inches now, when you minus 17 inches, sorry, you will get your full length. So I'm going to use the full tape. I'm going to use the full tape, so I have 60. So this is the full tape. I like making my jumpsuit to be very lengthy, so if it's too long, or if I'm reselling, sometimes I will soak clothes and then I'll resell it. So if I'm reselling, if the customer is taller than me, I'll just um, adjust the length also. So I have 60 here, full tape. I'm still going to add one inch extra allowance. So if it's too long, so that is it. You've gotten your full length, and that is where you just need to minus your under, because you don't need to minus anything again. So the next thing is to place your top, your tape. To get your hip location, your crash location, and your knee length. You know, if you're making a palazzo, you have to minus your band. But here, we've minus our half length to just get our full length. You don't need to minus anything. Okay? So from here, now you place your tape. I, uh, I like using, uh, I use 10 inches for my hip location because this is a jumpsuit. It's high. If you don't use, if you use a shorter location for your hip, you'll notice that the thing, the crash will be so tight. Uh, so for you not to have that tightness as your crouch or this thing, just use 10 inches. But if you're not tall, if you're not really, really tall, if you're not tall at all, you can use 9.5 inches to 9 inches. So here is my crouch. Here is my new location, 10 inches. So 10 inches plus. So 10 inches for me to get my new, my crouch location, that means my waist, my hip divided by 4 is 11. Then I'll add extra 1 inch just to have that thing. It's just almost the same thing as, as your palazzo. Once you're making a palazzo jumpsuit, a white jumpsuit, a white leg jumpsuit, and this is going to be really white, because I'm still going to slash it. I want it to be come out really white. So I'll get 12 for my crouch location. So my nail is 19. I'll still place it to get my nail length. This is my crouch. This is my hip location. This is my crouch length. And this is my nail length. So the next thing after that is to take your round hip measurement. That is your round hip. My round hip measurement is 11. I'm going to add extra 1.5 inches sewing allowance and ease. Then my crouch, I will extend that line to my crouch and take it up to my waist. The next thing is to get your crouch extension. That is your hip divided by 4. Whatever you have, you now divide that number that you are going to get. Mine is 11. So I'm dividing that 11 by 4 again. I'm going to get 2.75 for my extension. So that is the extension. You, this is my extension now. Yes, so you do your crouch like this. I'm not standing very well, but I'm still going to cut this if I'm cutting it out. So the next thing now is to whatever you have here now, whatever you have here, you divide it by two. So I have 15.5. 15.5 divided by two. 15.5 divided by two. Just to get the midpoint, just to get the center of the trouser. The center that is to divide your ties because your ties are two. You have one and the other one. So you, this will help you to separate your ties very well, just the way it is. So whatever you have here now, you get the midpoint. Then whatever you have from here to, to this place, you divide it by two. So this day, you divide it by two. Once you divide it by two, you move the line. You can take it down if you like. And that was what I did. So you take it down. The next thing is to come down by three inches for your tie measurement. Don't measure it directly on your crotch, but you can do that if you wish to. But I don't like doing it. So you come down by three. Your, so your tie measurement divided by two. Remember, you divide the tie by two and all that. So this is just it. Please see my video on how to make a perfect palazzo. This is just the same thing as a palazzo. Just the difference that you're not minusing your band again to get your full length. So this is just what I have here. And uh, if you're adding a dart to yours, here is the dart. I'm not adding a dart to this. I'm not sure if I'm going to add a dart. Adding a dart. No, I don't like adding a dart to my jumpsuit. So this is it. I'll cut it out now. You know, this is on fold, but I'm not going to cut this on fold because I still want to use the other thing. All that is to do my story. So I'll sleep this part. Slash this midline now, but I'll just. I'm going to slash it up to the hip. That is to create the white length that I want. So I'm slashing this part. This part I want to put. But if I want to take this up to my hip line, no problem. So I want to slash it up to my hip. Yeah, let me slash, slash it up to my hip. So this slash will go to my hip. So for me to be able to slash it the way I want, so I'll cut through this place a little, then I'll cut this through this place a little also. This will help you to slash it the way you want it all this thing. So the next is to place the paper on the on this place. So the whiteness here is 11 inches. The whiteness here is 11 inches. The nail is 3.5 inches wide. So the next thing is to... I'm still going to add the paper to this side so that I will draw the pattern for me. Part. 
So the next thing you cannot just cut it like this because you will end up running shortage. You can't just cut it like this, you end up running shortage. So I'll close up this place a little so that it will relax. So this is what I'm doing to this crouch pad so that it will relax very well. I'm opening this place up too. It's not really affect anything. So that it will relax very well. And make sure they are equal. Make sure they are equal. You can hold it with your suit tape. I don't want to go inside to do for my safety. So I'll just hold it with So the next thing that you do, so I'm going to come down by one inch again. So I'm going to draw a fault line. From here now, I'll come down by one inch because if you don't want to run short of five okay, you go down by one inch, then connect it. So here, here you add one inch and this side also you add one inch. So you draw it with your big hole. Draw it with your hole. So that you don't run short of You don't really need to add that one inch here to this part. You just draw a connect with your hole. You can measure it from here. Now you can take the measurement from this part to make sure that it's equal. I have 35 from 35 feet. So from here now, I'll check what I have. So I also have 35 from 35. So you notice that this side will be equal. So here now. For you to get a straight measurement. So here I have 35 from 25. So here I have 35 from 25. I'll cut it out. So here I So here the front part is ready. I'm just trying to trim it or trim off any excess and make it to be straight, very straight. So this part now I still need to draw the line to come through. I don't want it to be really, really super thick on it or super thick stuff. Yeah. So if you feel that there's any side you need, you still need to trim. So I'll take it from this crouch side to this place. I just want to get it straight. So this part needs to be off. Then I'll just take from this thing. This has no measurement, just as your your hand directs you. That's why you need to start from your waist and take it down. So this part one more wants to go up. Just this part that means you keep direct taking. You make it really really this is what you need to go up. You are the color of us. It should like it will contain everything. Everything here will enter very well. The way this fabric is made. Remember that we are just cutting only the damp parts. We are going to cut the front. I'm pushing it to have enough space here because I'm going to add something to that damp part. So here is what I have. Make sure you place it very well and make sure they are equal. Down to the background, you go down by half inch. Go down by half inch, then extend the line. Then here, the back you are going to extend it by two inches. I extend the back by two inches. Then I'll get the knee line. Remember that all those things are on the pattern book. Doesn't matter. Yeah, if you have, so you get the knee line, then take your crouch down to the knee line. Your back crouch, when you get your back crouch, wait, from your back crouch, you go down by half inch, then you extend the line, then extend it by two inches. After that, two inches, you bring it down slightly to your knee line. This part is okay, we are done with this other part. So the next part is to come to the waist now. Come to the Come to the waist part of this back crouch. Go in by two inches. Go in by two inches. Remember that you're going to leave a space for here, here for your extension. 
they are living in space. So I will extend it by 1.5 inches. 1.5 this is a jumpsuit. If you don't want your back part to come out looking higher than the front, just one inch to 1.5 inches is good. So I'm using 1.5 inches extension. Then I'll connect it this way. I'll connect it then make the back crowd. So just follow this line. Just follow it like this. Up to down two inches like and we are done with this. The next thing we are going to add is I'm going to add a zipper to this so you get your hip line. Please make a notch like connect your hip lines before removing it from the fabric. So it's there. So here is my hip. Oh sorry. Here is the place that my hip is going to stand. So I'm going to add zipper allowance of one inch to one point five inches. I'm using one inch zipper allowance. I'm bringing out the zipper allowance. So from this line, from this crash back crash line now, just raise the front up and bring out. This is why I'm getting so far. I'm bring out one one inches for the zipper allowance to have a back zip so i'll connect the lines this way i don't know if this is my camera is placed very well so i'll connect it up to the hip when i get to the hip i'll just connect it that way to the crouch so we are done with that part the next thing remember that you minus remember that you came in with two inches at this crash part the waist part so you replace that two inches here to this other to the hip part you place that two inches down to the hip down to the hip So that I'm just extending the lines. So that two inches, you replace it to bring it down to the hip part. So at the crouch line, you, you replace it by, you go in by 1.5 inches. At the knee line, you go in, in by one inch. Then this hemming part, this down part, you go in by one inch. So that's the way it will look. So you just, and here you connect it slightly to meet that 1.5 inches that you went up with. You can use one inch to 1.25 inches here. Please don't go by up to two inches. Each one. Now you notice that your back will be going up. So you connect these lines. You connect these lines to the hip, from the hip to the crouch, from the crouch to the knee, from the knee to the full length to make that one thing at full length. So this is basically what you need to make your perfect palazzo and your perfect jumpsuit. So we are going to be, you don't need to add anything to this part, it's just okay like this. So we are going to be cutting it out. You know this is, so we are going to be cutting it out. So to cut your upper, you just need your normal basic bodies. Just get your half length. My half length is 17 inches. Just marking out the uh, 17 inches line, then extend it. The next thing is to take your shoulder measurement, which is 15 by by to 7.5. I mean that by one inch. Then I also got my shoulder line. Next thing is to take my ram ram bust measurements, my waist measurement. I added 1.5 inches to the bust, then 1.5 inches. You don't really need your neck width or depth of, but I use four inches neck width. I connected my sh shoulder slope. The next thing is that I went down by seven inches. That is how off I want my off sh shoulder to be. Sorry. Then I got my under bust, which is 15 inches. Yes, you need your under bust for this time. So after everything, then I did my ample curve and all that. So the next thing is to cut out the seven inches, cut the off shoulder part. You can I, I extended my chest line, which I won't be needing to. So I did my ample curve and just cut it out that way. So I'll use this pattern to cut out the back. Just place it and cut out the back. Remember to add your one inch to 1.5 inches zipper allowance, which I've added already. So you just cut it out. So here is the back. You can do any back neckline that you want. If you want it to be this straight or you want to curve it a bit. So I want mine to have a little curve. A little curve. So I'll just curve it a bit. Just want it to have a little back curve. I'll cut it out. Just for the back.
So we'll now be working with the front. Uh, after cutting the back, the next thing is to cut out your underboss. Yes, we are going to be separating the underboss from the main on under posts from the main uh, uh from the upper parts like uh, that so you just have to indicate make a knot to indicate so the next thing is to take go in by two two inches two two inches i'm marking two two inches so connect your lines then label it for you to know then one two three so if you have up to five pieces then you slash it not really slashing it not really slashing it you just have to cut it out after cutting it out then you have to fold your fabric you have to put it on fold i wanted to cut it on a pattern paper for it to be easy for me but no it wasn't enough so you just get your fabric that you'll be using for it have it on fold please you are cutting on fold have it on fold after having your fabric on fold the next thing is to place your um your cut out papers giving it a two two inches space but if you want it to come out really full you can give up to three inches space it depends on the uh, amount of fabric that you have and make sure that you have one inch left add down then up you should have up to 1.5 inches for the for the sorry for the elastic not really elastic for the rope that you are going to be attaching to it you are going to be attaching a strap that you can pull it to come together so you just i was giving it i gave it two two inches space i made sure that i have two two inches space as you mean i had more material i would have um, made it three three inches space then the upper part i have I left 1.5 inches allowance for the upper part then one inch the damper you just have to add one inch one inch again to your under boss that is the boss side the part that you are going to be attaching to the boss have to leave one inch space there after everything just cut it straight please don't trace the armhole you don't have to trace the armhole just have a straight cut just cut it straight without tracing the armhole just don't you don't need to trace the armhole then notch the midpoint and this is what we have we don't need all those papers again this is it it should be this straight so here is the underboss part our half length or full length so you just still cut something else you have to cut something or cut the same thing but if you you can add up to one inch allowance like to the upper part or to the down part if you are cutting it so that is the half length you can have two pieces of that so the next thing is to cut out the pocket the pocket should be 12 inches long then seven inches wide the width should be seven inches the length is um 12 inches then go up by one inch then connect it with a curve a slant curve trim it off please this should be unfold on your fabric so this um after cutting that the next thing is to cut your strap for your pocket uh, your strap for the upper part for the front the drawstring that you're going to be used it just um it should be one inch wide so after folding you should have like one inch or half inch then it should one inch wide then any length of your choice i didn't measure my length but it has to be equal so we'll have to stop here because the video is already too long i'll make a part two of how you can join this believe me this jumpsuit came out really beautiful and i would like you to make one for yourself thank you